he has become a familiar face. Nigel Farage has already shifted the national debate on Europe and immigration, and at this election, he's ambitious for more. UKIP has a plan. We genuinely want to make working people better off, and we will do that by leading the charge and making the argument for a low-tax revolution. So the UKIP manifesto says they'll raise the threshold at which people start to pay income tax to £13,500, cap skilled migration at 50,000 a year and ban unskilled immigration for five years, they'd spend 12 billion pounds on the NHS over the next four years and they'd hold a referendum as soon as possible to leave the EU. Have a full, free and fair referendum on our membership of the European Union, not a pro-EU government-led stitch-up. <laughs> To pay for it, they reduce the foreign aid budget, scrap HS2, reduce the UK grant to Scotland, and they can save the EU contributions after a British exit. Overall, the launch was enthusiastic but well organised until this. Are you happy that the only black face in the in the document is on the overseas aid page? Oh. <laughs> that was sarcastic applause, and they weren't happy when I asked about an issue that he had raised in the TV debate. Would you stop people with HIV entering Britain? <laughs> Disgusting question. It's very interesting. No, it's a very good question. I thought it was wrong that this government in 2012 had changed the law to say that anybody can fly into Britain, regardless whether they've ever been here before or have any connection with this country, uh, go to a London hospital, have a test for HIV, and if they're proved positive, but receive retroviral drugs that are worth more than £20,000 a year. Do I stand by that? You bet your life I stand by that. And I... After the launch, a chance for more questions. Was there room for any movement on that migration cap? I don't foresee any circumstances in which it would need to go higher than that. I would expect 20 to 30,000 a year maximum. But in principle, you would be prepared to have more than that cap of 50,000 if that was what was recommended? It's extremely unlikely. But in principle, it could happen. In principle, anything could happen. That's how the world works. They want to show they're more than a single issue party. That single issue, though, is still at the heart of their appeal. Andy Bell, Five News.